Hi guys, I'm Fera from Guitars AI and I welcome you to this uh, gentle introduction of uh, automatic music transcription. So uh, we will go to a step-by-step -step solution of a music transcription problem, which is I would like to automatically transcribe, transcribe the introduction of Sweet Child of Mine by Maestro Slash, Guns N' Roses. Um, yeah, from audio to a music score and um, also to MIDI. So uh, we will go through the same way there is the code in GitHub. You can uh, run locally or you can run remotely using MindBinder. So um, we will use basically uh, two great Python packages. One is the Librosa, which is a package for music and audio analysis. It's very powerful. There are a lot of tools that are um, already built in. You don't need to, to implement by yourself. And another one that I like very much is this toolkit for uh, computer-aided musicology. Very powerful. I think one is from the New York University. The other one is from the MIT, if I'm not mistaken. I also uh, you, you, I'm also using here the MIDI util, which is a, a Python package also to um, to, to use MIDI. So um, yeah, let's get started. Um, if you are running uh, locally, try to install uh, all the requirements. Uh, I recommend you to use also a music score which is uh, if you are running uh, remotely, I could not manage to configure to run music, music score um, on the remote server. So uh, I, I just, uh, I will run here on my local machine. But music, music score is a, is a very good tool for uh, writing music scores and to play MIDI and we'll get there. So um, let's get started. So basically, you found me on YouTube or on GitHub. There's a link. You can launch uh, my binder uh, and start a remote server, or you can run it locally. So we'll be using here uh, NumPy, then uh, the, the packages I mentioned, Librosa, Music21. And I also included here the uh, Python widgets. So we will have a small uh, graphical user interface where you can uh, yeah. adjust the parameters. Okay, so after we've done some basic configuration and imported the packages and libraries we're going to use, at this point here, I'm just defining some parameters that I may use later on. Uh, these parameters are not so trivial to, uh, to set, but it's some uh, initial Initial conditions, let, let's put like this, that uh, we can adjust later. And um, our first step is to load our audio file. So uh, on the GitHub, there's a folder called audio music, which we're set in the path here, where I put the introduction of Guns N' Roses Switch Child on mine. We're going to use Librosa to load this file. So I'm, I'm limiting the duration to 12 seconds because um, there is uh, the introduction is before the drums and the rhythm guitar uh, go in. So uh, one of the reasons I chose this song is first because I think it's, it's, it's an excellent, uh, it's, it's a classic guitar riff, it's, it's cool. And uh, for learning purposes, it's very good. Yeah, the notes are very separate one to each other. They're well defined. They are not um, on top of each other. So uh, if you try uh, real music to do some automatic transcription, then you uh, get into a lot of challenges. And there is a lot of uh, research going on for uh, for real applications on uh, automatic transcription. But here is for you to get a feeling of it and to get the basics and concepts 
behind it and tools how to use it so um yeah we are using librosa to uh, load this 12 seconds of uh, audio so let's let's have a look uh, let's have a listen eh? So yeah, there is our introduction of Switchyard Online already loaded into a, an array that uh, it's named X. So the sampling frequency of this recording was a uh, 44.1 kilohertz standard. We are importing it as mono because we just want to um, work with one channel. I'm setting here. A duration of 12 seconds because I just want the first part of the introduction before the rhythm guitar kicks in, before the drums, the bass. So our first step is ready. <laughs> 